Fox 35 investigates lotto winnings that have been garnished. We've been telling you the stories about people who have won the lottery here in Florida, only to be told that the state is now claiming their winnings. Yeah, some are told that they were overpaid in unemployment benefits during the pandemic, even though they say well, that never happened. And new tonight, we're getting a look at the bigger picture here. Fox 35's Connor Hansen found out just how many people have had their winnings garnished in our state. I buy a ticket every day. Sometimes more than one. John DeSimone has a knack for picking winning scratch off tickets. Since collecting five weeks of unemployment during the pandemic, he says he has won both a $10,000 and a $5,000 prize. But on his most recent streak, he wasn't so lucky. The state's unemployment agency claimed his last two winning tickets, saying he was overpaid in benefits. They've kept $2,000 winners. And they can't, they won't tell me how much I owe. I bought tickets to go out of town with my daughter. <laughs> I literally did. I was like, oh, great. We can go see family. This is going to be fun. Christy Smith had and big then, plans for her $1,000 prize before it was garnished. She hasn't received the money back, even though the state sent her a letter saying she actually wasn't overpaid. John and Christy aren't alone. Fox 35 has heard from dozens of Floridians with similar stories. According to the Florida Lottery, more than 3,000 winners were garnished by the state's unemployment office this year. It claimed nearly $3.4 million. Last year, it was more than 5,000 winners and more than $5 million. In part of a statement, Florida Commerce told us, quote, if this happens to a lottery winner, Florida Commerce works with the claimant to resolve the issue as quickly as possible so that they can enjoy the lottery funds they were lucky enough to win. After several requests, the agency has not agreed to an interview with us about why people are still having so many problems. While some have given up hope, one woman we interviewed finally received nearly $3,000 in winnings nearly five months after the state claimed it. My heart was beating, and I said, I don't want to open it up in the car. Let me wait till I get home. Let me wait till I get home. So I came home, went in the kitchen, I opened it up, and I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I had to thank the man upstairs first because he was listening to my prayers. Florida Commerce is recommending anyone with an overpayment to look for information on their website and to check their account. All the lottery winners we've spoken to say they've waited for hours on hold trying to reach someone there by phone. We'll keep working to get more answers from Florida Commerce on why this is happening and are continuing to ask for an interview with them. Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. Very